in a year again. Oh, where is your plus one? Yes, it's that time of the year where you get to flaunt your lover and spoil them with all the finest things in life. What has been your most memorable Vows Day excuse? Have you been stood up with a lame excuse on Vows Day? Or maybe your heart was broken on a day which is meant to be one of the happiest in the year. I'm sure you have some good and not so good stories to tell. Well, on Training GA today, we are in search of people who are willing to share their good and bad vows they experience. Come with us. What is your most memorable vows they experience? The good or the bad? Just tell us. The good. I think the good side was that. On that, they actually get a lot of chocolate. But funny, funny enough, yeah, I don't have a girlfriend, so I get a lot of chocolate. The chocolate, the one that's actually nice is the one that's... <laughs> this is very funny, but it's... The one that's nice is the one that you know that the girl has a boyfriend, like a lot of them have a boyfriend, but they specifically come to you and give you the chocolate that's meant for their boyfriend. That one they be like that one that one no that chocolate they be the normal chocolate no they be you the one that is for her boyfriend and they give it to you that one they be bad oh I feel good no one has done anything nice for me on vows there. They're just like happy vows and they pass by. Ghanaians like taking they don't like giving so i never get anything on vows day and it's mostly the girls who ask a lot i think it was yesterday i told my girlfriend that oh i'm thinking of what do you want on vows day nothing and i'm like wow there's someone actually good there because every time oh i want this i want this i want this you have a whole list when i ask you for one thing and it's like i'm putting the whole world on you you are thanos i've never like gone on a vows day date before by a friend fitness so back in school they gave me school fees here yeah. i should go and buy i should go and pay school fees and like he used that school fees to buy gifts for the girlfriend and the girlfriend didn't like the gift and threw it away so like we all like we didn't even understand school fees so they are told them i got my heart broken some time ago so like I was <laughs> can't even explain it. You no, know, the guy was like he couldn't be with me and all that. Mm -hmm. For what reason? I don't even know. He didn't give me any tangible reason, so I just had to accept the facts and then move on. Move on. Yeah. But this this year, are you expecting anything? No, I'm not expecting anything. A friend of mine, I think three days ago, she went to her boyfriend's place and she changed. In, um, and after they did everything, <laughs> she wanted to use the bathroom, so she took the bed sheet to the bathroom. And I don't know if the boy wanted to break up with her or something, but the boy got bored that she used the bed sheet instead of the towel. So the boy actually sucked her out of the room. From a friend's experience, okay, she had a broken heart on a vows day she was actually going to surprise her boyfriend in his house and then on getting there she um she caught her boyfriend with another girl in bed and then that was it the day before vows day i called my boyfriend and i asked him what up uh, what plans he had for me the following day and he said he was broke so i took a cool so the following day I went over to his place with gifts. When I got there, hmm, unfortunately, unfortunately, he was in bed with another girl. Yes, yeah, so I took my staffs and I went back home, deleted his contact, blocked him. And when I see him in town, I just pass by like we don't know each other. But with you two, do you have any experience? Oh, yes. Me being a gentleman on that day, when she was sad, I just saw her walking on the roadside, so I came to her and then, you know, tried to talk to her, but then she was shunning me, so I just had to push harder and then see if she can give in. So when she gave in, I just made her vows the, the best. My girlfriend, I'll give her 10 CDs and some odds so I should take to stick bed and if it's us. That's the vows gift. That's all. Um, one time I went to my boyfriend's house and I wasn't expecting anything from him though. I like on vows that I really uh, I would love to sit at home or just be with my partner. 
maybe watch a movie and all but when i went he surprised me with some gifts and after that we watched the movie and we ate together last year valentine's day um i didn't really we didn't really do much i i was home and he called me my boyfriend called me and i went to his place then yeah he took me out we, we had dinner then after dinner we went out we, like we went for a massage and a spa last year i broke up with my boyfriend last year before valentine's day so it was a whole lot of um, painful um, feeling but then this year tomorrow i'm going on a date with my new boyfriend and i'm super excited so i think that tomorrow will be a different kind of feeling and i'm hoping for the best like the best valentine's day ever okay so yeah there you have it valentine's day is a big deal for some people especially our ladies who want to be pampered and not forgetting our gentlemen who get to be pampered for being faithful all year round but whatever it is don't forget to keep the conversation going visit the ghana web on facebook instagram and twitter to share your most memorable vows day experience but before i leave just one thing for you make sure that you share some love with some other people my name is paulina Deda opoku and this is trending gh